amazing new future cities currently being built. As technology advances, so too do the cities we live in. With the power of innovation, new and notable towns are being built that challenge our perceptions of what a city can be. From floating metropolises to sustainable smart cities, these developments are pushing the boundaries of what's possible and shaping our future in exciting ways. Well now, we're going to show you some of these fantastic cities that are going to be built. So subscribe to our channel, Just Tech, as we explore some of the most awe-inspiring new towns currently under construction. Nusantara Indonesia has announced plans to start building 184 apartment blocks, which will mark the first phase of construction in its new capital, Nusantara. The apartment will be the first element to be made in the new city. Designed by Indonesian studio Urban Plus, the city includes government offices and housing for officials. It was designed with an initial target population of 500,000 people. The archipelago would be between North Penajam Passer and Kutai Kartanegra in Indonesian Borneo, 870 miles from the capital. The head of the nation's capital city authority has recently announced that construction of the capital city would begin this year, according to a Reuters report. It is very well documented that the apartment block would be built to accommodate 14,500 civil servants, military, and police. King Abdullah Economic City Three to four years back, the sources said that the city had not collected investment or become a hub for manufacturing, contrary to the grand plans behind the project. In 2018, the city had a population of around 7,000. With a total developmental land of 170 square kilometers, the city is located along the coast of the Red Sea. A Tatawa-listed company created from MR Properties, one of the world's biggest real estate companies, which is the main benefactor of the project. KAEC is a new destination located on the coast of the Saudi Red Sea. Located just north of the commercial capital Jeddah, KAEC is a 185 square kilometer city bordering King Abdullah Port, recently named the world's most efficient port by the World Bank, and KAEC Industrial Valley, which focuses on logistic development. In kingdoms, anchoring is a light ability. More than 100 multinational and Saudi companies have settled with KAEC. The project team tackled urban issues such as open space, landscaping, road networks, mass transit, sustainability, zoning, and density and designed several key buildings to support the vision. Each urban area must create solid centers and a unique identity. By doing so, the team demonstrated their understanding of how design can impact communities on a deeper level and shape the human experience. Helsinki Bunker City An underground city beneath the streets of the Finnish capital, Helsinki, with room for 900,000 people, was built to ward off potential nuclear threats while the company is guarding against possible attacks from neighboring Russia. The underground bunkers are designed to prevent a nuclear disaster and provide a haven for the country's people. The bunker is 30 meters deep and about 9 million square meters. Containing a gymnasium, playground, swimming pool, and numerous tunnels, it's said to be capable of fending off nuclear threats and providing protection from harmful radiation and chemicals. Most of the doors in the Helsinki bunker remain closed to the public, and some allow soldiers to access in an emergency. This dungeon contains nearly 500 shelters and is expected to accommodate 900,000 people. Helsinki's population is estimated at around 650,000 people. Hey, why don't you join the tech revolution and subscribe to Just Tech? for all the latest updates and expert insights on the world of technology. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified whenever we post something new for you. Echo Atlantic Echo Atlantic, officially Nigeria International Trade City, also known as Echo Atlantic City, or the initials EAC and EA, is a proposed city in Lagos State, Nigeria, built on land reclaimed from the Atlantic Ocean. When completed, the new peninsula is expected to have at least 250,000 residents and a daily inflow of 150,000 passengers. This project also is likely to help stop the erosion of the coastline of the city of Lagos. The city is bordered by the Victoria Island area of Lagos City and the Lekki Phase 1 area to the north, while the entire western, eastern, and southern borders are the coastline. Echo Atlantic will emerge as the next generation of real estate on the African continent, with a total of 10 districts spread over an area of approximately 10 square kilometers. 
the city will meet the needs for financial, commercial, residential, and tourism real estate. Echo Atlantic will meet the needs of financial, commercial, residential, and tourist accommodations with infrastructure that meets modern and ecological standards. These standards will provide water systems, waste management, safety, and transportation for urban residents. The city will also have an independent energy source that will be generated specifically for the town. Situated on land reclaimed by erosion, Echo Atlantic is protected by a coastal vessel designed by Royal Haskoning known as the Lagos Great Wall, a proposed 8.5-kilometer-long barrier consisting primarily of rock and topped with a protective crown of concrete macropods. Akan City Akan City is a community planned by the Senegalese singer and businessman Akan in Senegal's Imbour department. The project was first announced in 2018 by Akon and Senegalese tourism minister Alioune Serin. Akon said in October 2022 that construction of the city's first phase would start in 2023 and open in 2026. Akon says he was inspired by Black Panther, describing Akon City as the real Wakanda that uses the latest blockchain and cryptocurrency technologies. The project will include a giant skyscraper, a shopping center, a technology center, a music studio, a Senawood manufacturing facility, and an ecotourism resort. The Akon City development is intended to be a 10-year mixed-use project. Akon said the 800-hectare-acre development will be a smart and intelligent city that is environmentally friendly and powered by renewable energy, including solar power. This is a LEED-certified project. The stated primary objective of the project is to boost the local economy and create jobs for local workers. The developers of Akon City are KE International of Los Angeles and Bakari & Associates Development Consultants of Dubai. Hussein Bakari, CEO of Bakari & Associates, is the lead architect. Join our community, Just Tech, and never miss a video. Subscribe to our channel now for daily content that will inspire, entertain, and educate. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for notifications. Maldives Floating City The Maldives have long been the perfect holiday haven, especially during a pandemic. Last year, tourism almost returned to pre-pandemic levels, with 1.3 million passenger arrivals, compared with 1.7 million visitors in 2019. And now, the world's lowest-lying country may have a solid solution to face the harsh realities of rising sea levels. The floating city of Maldives has just been given the green light for development. 5,000 residential units are interconnected and fortified at the bottom of a 500-hectare-acre lagoon, to preserve and enhance its natural and cultural ecosystem. The project, a public-private partnership between the developer and the Maldivian government, is not conceived as a wild experiment or a futuristic vision. It's constructed as a logical answer to the dark truth of the rise of sea level. The Maldives Floating City is a proposed sustainable city built on floating platforms that aims to address rising sea levels caused by climate change. The city will have residential, commercial, and recreational areas as well as sustainable energy systems and innovative waste management solutions. The project's a collaboration between the Maldives government and Dutch company Water Studio NL. The floating city will serve as a model for other low-lying nations facing the same challenge and promote the idea of floating cities as a solution for coastal communities affected by sea level rise. But when a city floats, it can rise with the sea. It is a new hope for more than half a million people in the Maldives," said the founder of Water Studio. Wow, the video's already over! That was all for today! I hope you liked the video. Leave us a comment or feedback so we can be assured that you enjoyed our video. Moreover, subscribe to our channel so we can see you every time!